folks, and a great big welcome to each and every one of you. That tune that I just played is called uh, The Old Yellow Dog. The full title is Old Yellow Dog Come Trotting Through the Meeting House. Uh, this refers to uh, the old time practice of folks bringing their dogs to church. And there was uh, one fellow in South Carolina in the 18th, 19th century complained about people doing that. Goes back earlier, a guy in Scotland, name of uh, James Hall, wrote a book in 1807 that talked about his travels through Scotland. And uh, he noted there that People brought so many dogs to church that it uh, disrupted the meeting because the dogs started fighting with each other. Anyway, kind of a silly name for a, for a fiddle tune. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tune. What I'd like to do now is a little Bible reading. So for those of you folks who do not want to hear a Bible reading, now's the time for you to end the video. I'll say adios. See you next time. For those of you who are hanging on, uh, last Sunday morning I heard uh, Donovan at Anchor Point Church uh, explain the gift of prophecy. Um, it was, uh, I enjoyed listening to that. I'll, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below because he's going to explain it a lot better. <laughs> Than I do. I always thought that uh, prophecy was uh, prophesizing about uh, what's going to happen in the future, but it isn't at all. Uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 14, verse 1 and on. Follow the way of love. Hang on a sec. Follow the way of love and eagerly desire spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophecy. For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men but to God. Indeed, no one understands him. He utters mysteries with his spirit. But everyone who prophesies speaks to men for their strengthening, encouragement, and comfort. So, prophecy is... Strengthening, encouraging, and comforting. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. I would like every one of you to speak in tongues, but I would rather have you prophesy. He who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless he interprets, so that the church may be edified. And there's an example I ran across a couple of days ago. I've been reading through Thessalonians, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, uh, Timothy has just come to us from you and has brought good news about your faith and love. He has told us that you always have pleasant memories of us and that you long to see us just as we long to see you. Therefore, brothers, in all our distress and persecution, we were encouraged because of your faith. So Timothy there was prophesying to Paul because he brought him good news that encouraged Paul and encouragement is part of prophesying. Check the... Link down below to the anchor point. Uh, Donovan explains it better than I could. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tune and I hope you enjoyed the reading. God bless and we'll see you down the road.